the North Face has a dirty little secret. And it's the fact that the Recon and Borealis are more alike than different, with only a few key details that set them apart. In this video, we will have both backpacks side by side to show you the real differences. And if you're thinking, wait a minute, they look completely different, what are you talking about? Let's quickly go over what's the same so you can see for yourself. Both backpacks have the same front organizer compartment, where you can find a small tablet sleeve, a key leash, and slip pockets for smaller items. Both backpacks also have 15-inch laptop compartments in the back. And you can turn both into hiking backpacks thanks to the built-in hydration hookup. You also have fleece-lined pockets in the front for stuff like sunglasses and tech. And construction is near identical. The bags are made with the same ripstop nylon material, use YKK zippers, and have identical back panels and shoulder straps. Now, before we move on, it's important to note that we do have the women's versions of each backpack for this video. But if you're looking for a men's backpack, you should still watch this comparison. The main difference is that the men's backpacks are a little larger to accommodate wider shoulders and a longer torso, but the compartments are the same. Now, what is different between the Recon and Borealis? The most obvious is the front storage design. With the Recon, you get a quick stash pocket in the front, while on the Borealis, you get a bungee storage system. Now, which is better? That depends on what you need to carry. The stash pocket on the Recon is better for smaller items. Think of something like a hat or gloves, or maybe even a pair of headphones. Anything you want to grab or put away quickly. It's a little too small for shoes or a blanket, but it can fit a lightweight compressible jacket. It's just a really tight fit. The bungee on the Borealis is better for large, bulkier items. A jacket will fit just fine, and it can easily hold a blanket for picnics or beach days, or even a pair of shoes. But the bungee won't be as secure for storing smaller items, and that's where the recon is going to be a better fit. By the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider hitting the like button. It lets us know if you find videos like these helpful so we can make more in the future. Now let's move on to the other differences. Each backpack has two water bottle pockets. They are the same exact elastic water bottle pockets and can easily fit larger 32 ounce bottles. But the difference is that the Recon has compression straps to secure the bottle in place, while the Borealis has bungee compression. And for what it's worth, it is much easier and faster to adjust the bungee than it is to adjust the compression strap. Now, let's talk about the size of each backpack because this is where things get interesting. As you can see, the backpacks are not that different in size when worn, and they really don't feel all that different either. The North Face says the Recon is the larger of the two at 30 liters, while the Borealis is slightly smaller at 27 liters for the women's version and 28 liters for the men's version. And our packing test revealed that there really isn't much of a difference when it comes to the size of the main compartments. We were able to pack the same exact items in the Recon with the addition of a 24 ounce bottle. And to put things in perspective, that's about the same size as two cans of soda. So the main compartment in the Recon is a little bit bigger, but not by much. Another odd difference is with the laptop compartments. Although both backpacks can fit 15 inch laptops, for some reason, the laptop compartment on the Recon is about three inches deeper. Here is a 14 inch laptop inside both so you can see for yourself. Both backpacks do have false bottoms but the laptop compartment in the Borealis floats about three inches above the bottom of the bag. It's a very odd design choice from the North Face, but it is worth noting. And that's it. Those are the real differences between these two backpacks. They really are more alike than they are different. If you are trying to decide between these two backpacks, there are two simple questions you have to ask yourself. The first is, do I want a quick stash pocket or would I be better off with a bungee for bulkier items? The second question is, do I need maximum packing room? The Recon is still the larger backpack with a little bit more internal storage. If you can answer those two questions, you'll know which backpack is the right one for you. So what do you think? 
Let us know which backpack you prefer in the comments. Do you like the Recon better? Or do you prefer the Borealis? We really hope this comparison video has helped. And as always, thank you so much for watching.